When you're new to guitar, everybody's telling you you have to learn all of this stuff. A gajillion chords here, you gotta learn how to read music here, and then you can start having fun with the guitar. But I have a completely different philosophy. I think when you start playing guitar, when you're just learning, your mission is to get hooked and have fun because that leads to progress and that leads to a fulfilling and productive guitar journey. Now I'm about to share with you something that will lead to major fun on the guitar and I guarantee you it's gonna get you hooked. It's called power chords. Now power chords are beautiful because your fingers only have one job and when they complete that job, when they make that chord shape, all you have to do is move it around and you can play a bunch of chords using the same exact chord shape. Let me show you this chord shape. It's actually super easy. This is just one lesson in a series where I'll take you from zero to guitar player in 30 days by teaching you the four super fun skills that'll get you hooked on guitar. Before you get started, you'll need to download the tabs, course guide, and 30 day checklist. To get yours, just click on the link in the video or visit 30daystoplay.com. You're gonna take your index finger, place it on the fifth fret of the low E string. Then you're gonna take your ring finger, place it on the seventh fret of the A string. And then you're gonna take your pinky finger and right underneath your ring finger, you're gonna place it on the seventh fret of the D string. Now, in terms of picking, you're just gonna play the low three strings or the strings that you're fretting. That is the power chord shape. Now check this out. No matter where I move it on the low three strings, it's gonna sound cool. You can move it anywhere and it's a chord. And I want you to experiment with it. So right now, pause this video, make this chord shape, and go willy nilly with this chord shape. Move it around, see what sounds good. See if it doesn't sound good in a certain place. Be my guest to place it anywhere on those low three strings. Now, once you've done that, check this out. This chord is gonna become, is gonna become two times as useful, doubly useful, if you will, because what you're gonna do is drop each finger towards the floor one string. Your index finger is gonna move to the fifth fret of the A string, your ring finger is gonna to move to the seventh fret of the D, and your pinky finger is gonna to move to the seventh fret of the G. Now, you're just gonna play the strings that you're fretting, okay? You're gonna play the A, the D, and the G. That's also a power chord. And it's just as movable as the other power chord shape. In fact, they're the same exact shape, just on a different string set. Now you will notice that my middle finger comes up. I'm not trying to insult anybody. I'm just using it to actually mute the low E string because it's not part of this power chord shape, right? So we have the low E power chord and the A string power chord. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a way to practice these power chords with a song you've heard before that you're about to learn in an extremely quick time frame. Check this out. There's three power chord positions that we're gonna use. The one on the fifth fret of the, of the low E string, the one on the fifth fret of the A string, and the one on the seventh fret of the A string. Okay, here's the pattern I want you to follow. On the fifth fret of the low E, I want you to go one, two, three, all down strokes with your pick. One, two, three. Then you're gonna move to the fifth fret of the A string and just do one, two, all down strokes. One, two. You might already hear where this is going. Then you're gonna bump that chord shape up to the seventh fret of the A and do that one, two, three again. Okay, so, so far we have one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Now we're gonna go back to the fifth fret of the A string do another one, two, all down strokes, and then back to the low E string, fifth fret, another set of one, two, three. All right, so here it is in its entirety. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And you can play that till the cows come home. And here's another pro tip for you, check this out. If you're having a hard time making these power chord shapes, and you're feeling like your fingers are all spread out, all you have to do is move it up towards the body of the guitar, and the frets actually become closer together. You can actually look at it. The frets are farther apart towards the nut of the guitar than they are by the body.
and you can follow that same exact pattern. So you can play the same pattern, same song, it's just gonna be a little bit easier. This is just one lesson in a series where I'll take you from zero to guitar player in 30 days by teaching you the four super fun skills that'll get you hooked on guitar. Before you get started, you'll need to download the tabs, course guide, and 30-day checklist. To get yours, just click on the link in the description or visit 30daystoplay.com.